Hello everyone and welcome on this new deal of the day video from Extreme Trader. This is Sela speaking. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, I wanted to highlight guys that many of our signals are from the midweek analysis, of course, has failed due, of course, to the um, FOMC statement which happened yesterday night as you can see all of the signals didn't work well and I believe I have told you guys about it um, we agreed that we're having um, that night uh, the FOMC statement Wednesday night and of course the news was bad to the dollar because the federal just uh, reserved the same uh, interest rates so as you can see uh, this the, the, the USD pairs has been affected and for that reason all of the pairs has failed now, of course, it's important to mention that this week will, there will be no Friday analysis video because, of course, on Friday we will be having the non-farm payroll and the unemployment rate for both the CAD and the USD pairs. So, therefore, if I send the Friday analysis, for sure it will fail as well. Also, we will be having the ISMP MI service and for that reason, I will not give any Friday analysis video. Instead, we can provide you with at least three or four deal of the days. Hopefully, they will work well. Anyway, guys... For today's deal, it will be actually on the pound GPY. So thankfully right here, I have sent a deal of the day to buy the uh, Japanese yen, I mean the pound GPY from 181.694, but I think it didn't work or hit the stop loss before reaching. I mean, I don't even remember sending this. Anyway, guys, let's just see what we can do next with this pair. Now, what can we expect next with the uh, pound GPY? Now, if we look at the daily chart, Right here, what we are having is, of course, a real level of a support, which has already become as a real level of a resistance multiple times and, of course, faced two fake breakouts. However, it just kept its level as a real level of a resistance and that can be confirmed by that bullish breakout candle. Now, the market will most likely going to continue the fall till it reach that area. But until then, we will sell the pair. Now, as you can see, we are talking about daily chart. So most likely what will going to happen is that the market will face that level of a real resistance to that area. And after that, it will continue the fall toward that level of the previous support where we can later buy the pound GPY. But until then, I would recommend to sell it until it reach that level. And that can provide us with at least 120 pips. So therefore, let's now move to the four hour time frame. Now, as you can see on the four hour time frame, this is the perfect setup. As we can see, uh, a real level of a support, a resistance, and then a bullish breakout candle. And right here, we can start buying the market. That is one of the perfect setups, in my opinion, guys. However, if we look closer, right now, what we're having here is a real level of a resistance exactly right there, just to be precise. Yes, at 183.3, uh, sorry, 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 183.730. There we can see a real level of a resistance has been respected and faced that level of a fake breakout. Now, if the pound GPY will continue rise, will continue the rise to reach the same level of the resistance, that's going to be awesome. We can start selling the pair exactly at that point. Not only that, if we combine now the support and resistance trend lines, and what I will do is simply doing like that. Now, what I will do, guys, is something called the magic of trend lines. And that is, of course, a strategy I'm offering on my channel for free. So as you can see, what you will do next is simply, let me show you, if you move this one, the same line I have drawn here from this uh, lower low to this higher low, you can actually check this out. The market actually respected the same level. Now, if you apply it also on a resistance uh, trend line, you can see that the market also respected that level. Check this out. Again, support trend line became a resistance trend line, a support trend line, and again, a resistance trend line and became a support trend line. So the moral of the story is the market will always be respecting those levels. Now, however, if, if I place it right here exactly at the highest level of a key resistance trend line, which was in the past a support trend line, we can see that the market has faced one and two fake breakouts from that level. So if the market will continue the rise, it will also be respecting the same level of a resistance trend line, also that level of a real resistance. And for, uh, by that, we can sell the pound GPY exactly until it reach that level of our take profit. So therefore, our deal of the day will be selling the pound GPY exactly at uh, 183.730, aiming 182.502 expecting exactly 120 pips of profit and a stop loss that shouldn't be higher than the peak of the resistance or the top of the resistance at 184.455 uh, for about six, uh, 68 pips only and there goes your deal my friends for today hopefully it will be a good one and hopefully we can all make good profits with it of course another reminder uh, that today 
we are facing some news on the uh, pound pairs. Um, the official bank rate will, is going to be out. Also, Bank of England monetary policy report is going to be out uh, today at uh, 12 p.m. GMT time. So for that, of course, let's be careful and wise about how we are taking this signal. And always, guys, consider the fundamentals. And remember to not leave any trade open during the news. If you have skipped any, then just be sure that you have been prepared for any potential losses. Uh, because at the time of the news, the spreads with all the brokers in the world, the spreads are, are going to get very much higher and the market will move very fast. You will not have any time to realize even what's going on. So anyway, guys, until then, I hope it's going to be a good day for you. And until then, I hope uh, that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.